right. in terms of what they desire. It right. may not relate, and some of it may translate to... Right, and it might be, we also are going to uh, try to incorporate, I hope, um, some of the questions relating to, you know, coming in and out of the library and, and things that impact um, the outside as well as the inside. So I think those questions may get into the strategic plan. Yeah, it's tricky timing-wise, right. like you were as saying. We said. And um, I think we can incorporate some of it, but you might consider you know, extending the, the amount you approved tonight a little mm -hmm. bit in case we do need to host some community forums because um, ideally you have a visual for people to right. comment on. Right. And that won't happen for a while. So um, otherwise we'll get a lot of, you know, we'll get more general commentary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice to have real specific comments yeah. about right. the proposal. And the, yeah, and it is something that they, they seem to want to do, but right. we just didn't, the, all of the firms really talked about that. And it's not that we don't want that input, but we almost want to have a little bit of <coughs> something for people to comment on. So I think that's a good idea that, or we could always like just, accept this as it is right now and then it would it wouldn't probably be something that would we would need to um, might not be rise to the level of something we'd need to do uh, to vote on it that way just because it what wouldn't be that much what you could do is have, a, have them come do an open presentation and then just right. break up in the small tables to discuss it I mean, right. maybe I, I think I'd almost rather just, just go vote with on what this we know and then just sort of because right. we do need community input it's just that we sort of need to figure out where we are on the strategic plan yeah. and have and a then preliminary sort of plan so uh, fold so it in together but we're not quite sure so whether up front is the way I, to do it I think it's we would be taking this the 18690 but less the community outright reach yeah, so the, well, if, if you take the community outreach part out, it is 17... 200. 200. Yeah. 200. Yeah. But if you mm -hmm. want to just keep it in hedge right our bets yeah, okay. and keep it in, yeah. then it's the 18. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the Tesco proposal uh, not to exceed $19,000. Can I ask a couple of questions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we can still have a discussion. Yeah. Yeah. I just... Uh, I mean, so as long as we get to a place where there's some drawing, and it's up for a while before we construct, and that's part of community outreach, and people can say what they like and they don't like. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, we'll still have community input, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I had a question on the, um, you, you have know, a motion our, on the table, Kathleen. Yeah. You know, so, um, I think it's great that we're talking about the parking lot, and so I just wondered whether we can, as part of this, sort of share, and it's, you know, the president's been in touch with the village more than anybody else, but it'd be great if we're doing our master plan of outside, if we had sort of our master plan for what the parking lot could be, including the parking lot, we don't own. We did talk. Uh, the village <laughs> basically said that for now, there will no, not be a formal merger of the parking lots. It's their property. They intend to keep it the way they are. Heather has um, been looking for other spots, possibly within the village walking distance, possibly for staff. But specifically with respect to the landscaping piece, the landscapers were told this is a separate parking lot, but nonetheless, there's constant traffic from there, from that lot right. to our, to the library, and to incorporate and consider design proposals that will facilitate that, make it safer, stop tromping through the bushes, um, and incorporate it. Now, obviously, we would, um, there's gonna have to be survey work, which might end up having to come back, it might end up being more speaking because there's going to have to be survey work between right. their lot and our lot. There's a great differential there, too. Hmm. The uh, the village lot is a little bit higher than our lot. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so we may, there may be more expenses once we get into the weeds on that one, literally. Um, <laughs> but they have been told to think and consider how we can make that public access 
better recognizing that that is the village property in right. the state. Because that median, um, the median between the two lots is, is actually um, sort of half ours, half the villages. So, but it's not appropriate for us to engage a landscape company to do anything that impacts the village's lot because it's not our lot. So this um, does not include that, except is it in terms of safety of people crossing over between the two lots, if there's a way we can improve that, or and also if we can just improve the sort of look of it right now, because it's, it's, you know, it's not a great situation, because like you said, there's there are some safety issues, but that's not the primary, um, you know, purpose of this proposal. This is more to evaluate our hardscape, landscape, and exterior signage. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it's great. The only thing I would add, and I'll close with this, is uh, and I'm happy to support this proposal as it is too, but I think this is a great opportunity for us, and if we should formally ask the village for permission, then we should, to say, we're doing all this work in the parking lot, we'd like to come up with a plan for the village lot too. We've talked about it. We've Some of the <laughs> trustees feel you're just spending money something that's not a promise. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't know. They, they've been adamant that they don't want to sell it, whatever, and so just... Well, I'm just saying, if, if, if we feel it's inappropriate to do the work without the village's permission, that makes sense. I think we mm -hmm. ought to ask the village's permission, because if we're willing to landscape their lot that our people use all the time, I think it would be a great the, use so of that's, 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 We're not going to landscape, landscape it. It's not, it's not really... Because you don't really landscape a parking lot. The parking lot's the par their parking lot's their parking lot. Ours... We've improved in the way we saw fit at the time. Um, there's a median between it, and we're, we're tenants of those spots, so tenants don't generally make improvements in leased property, unless yeah. that's in the terms of the lease and it's not in the terms of our I lease. Mean, I mean, I do think that when we get, because Heather did raise that issue, but we so might be we able to get do some, some clarity and get, which get we're some thinking. perfectly willing to do. I, I think it would be appropriate, just like if they were doing something to their lot, I would expect them to talk to us. Mm -hmm. But I think we're very limited, just sort of those safety issues, unless we can get some buy-in from them on doing something more. I have thrown out in conversation with them, eliminating some of the curb cuts. There's one, right. two, three, four, curb cuts between... I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how many curb cuts you know, there are. Yeah. Uh, it's a mess. You know, is there some... And we've talked those things... That, and it's, it's a mess. And, yeah, right. um, and we... Plus there's the back access there. And at this yeah. point, there just doesn't seem to be an interest in making changes with that parking lot the way it exists right now, and there have been conversations. Having said that, once we sort of just start developing a plan, it probably is an opportunity to say, all right, guys, we're, we're moving ahead. You know, is there anything that you feel is appropriate from your point of view that could help make this better for the people of Wilmette in terms of its aesthetics and in terms of the, tra the typical traffic pattern mm -hmm. for both the post office employees the the, and the library patrons um, and library staff? Right, and just people who are cutting across. So, but the, the issue at hand is really landscaping, hardscaping on our lot. So, um, and that's what we're voting on right now. So, um, okay. we state the motion or just? Yeah, so yeah. So we do the motion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We need a second. Do you want to restate it? Sure. That, that we uh, approve the, look, the uh, Tesco, Tesco uh, proposal not to exceed uh, $19,000. Okay. How much should we say? Landscaping. Not, not to exceed $19,000. $19,000. Mm -hmm. So that does include a cushion then for the community. For community yeah. meeting. Right. Right. If it, depending on how our strategic plan and the community and how that sort of starts to evolve over the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Second. Okay. Thanks. Jan. <laughs> Trustee Johnson. Aye. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee McLaughlin. Trustee O'Laughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshes. Aye. Trustee. Aye. <laughs> Better. Okay. Better. Discussion <laughs> items. Annual report. Um, 
We've done an annual report in the past. I mean, how much are we going to get into this tonight? We don't really have a lot specific. You, so when are you going to send us the draft to review? That was my only question. Yeah, in the next, oh. uh, yeah I'll get in the next couple of weeks. We'll, 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 so we'll, we're, we're working on it right now. Yeah. I guess what I really want to know is the things, the essential pieces you really need, want to have in there. Mm -hmm. You know, annual reports can be different every year. It depends on what perspective you want to take. You know, do we want to emphasize our community engagement piece? Do we want to emphasize our sustainability? Do we want to emphasize our um, finances? Do we want to emphasize the patron experience? You know, there, uh, or collections. I, we'll put all of that in there, of course. It's just a question of, you know, do we want statistics? Do we want stories? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, what, and you don't have to talk about everything. I just want to know what your top priority is. My top are. priority is that you show what the return on investment <coughs> is to the community of Wilmette. But how do you come up with such a number? Well, I, I, when I did went to the uh, ALA, they have a way models. To do this. To There's do calculators. That. There's you calculators can you can do it. And I think with the new system that mm -hmm. you can do individual patients can see this is what you would have spent. And I think you oh, might want to highlight yeah. mm -hmm. improvements. It's just a because there's a debate, I, right? And I have talked. Debate. One is online versus. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, in the bi-monthly newsletter, I think there needs to be some two-page infographic that highlights what finances, as well as what's been served and new programs. You mean as a like, as, as what a what an individual patron would have spent to purchase a book or what something well, like no, that? No, that's something else. That's but oh. there's a return on investment that mm -hmm. it, what an individual patron would be is I think with the new system you're able to, when someone checks that out, you can put that at the bottom. But I think overall, looking at it in terms of what the return on investment might right. be. I see what you're saying. You want, like, for every dollar we spend in tax dollars, the return on investment is $5, right? Right. Or I say, let's like say I take out five books a year, yeah. I right. save $100. Mm -hmm. Right. I think you can do it on both of those levels, right. whether, you know, right. we can we can play that with that. That would be interesting. That would be something but new. That's an advantage to the online. The format that, is we, right, can, we can play with that. I'm sorry, Lisa. I'll resend you the notes that I sent in terms of the website. You said there were some other models. Okay. I, I mean, one of the um, things that we talked about last year, we did, we had four sides to the annual report. And so Lisa was saying, well, maybe we should try, and, and I like this a little bit, a little bit less wordy. Mm -hmm. um, just a single two side, maybe in and off the shelf, and then more stuff. For more information, go online yeah. and then mm -hmm. have a spot. I, I, I on thought the we were gonna, thinking about doing exclusively online and not doing a print. What's where are we on that? I have a problem with it doing. I think some people there should be some. Because but I, if we stick because well, I don't know because I don't. I, didn't, I never heard what the feedback far. was. That's what, what the feedback. tonight is for. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The feedback is I, a lot of people thought. Purely online was fine. A few people thought a print option would be nice as well. Um, I think a nice in between would be to have a print uh, teaser in the off the shelf, so it's not a separate mailing. That's I a mean, good idea. a separate I mean, mailing is a thousand dollars right there. Right. So yeah. save that money and mm -hmm. yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and so that's one piece is we can put it in a page and off the shelf, mm -hmm. but we're not going to be able to fit everything onto no. that. No, and, so. and that's the thing. I think it can be too much. Like I think it's um, I think like last year. She said it. She you thought it was too wordy. I thought it was too numbery. So <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and yeah, we're going to make everybody. Yeah, happy. Exactly. I don't want more numbers less. So yeah. so I we can have online that. you can get it off. Mm -hmm. And then we could have it online, and then we could have um, and I love, easily I love the print pictures. on demand at the library. Pictures from the mm -hmm. online version. Right, we thought we'd put together a PDF version of the online version, so right. that's easy to do for people, like Lisa was saying, that come that want the print when mm -hmm. they come in. So I think we can come if to I a good... If I were the trustee, I would just want the highlights on a two-page summary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I mean, this yeah is and what, I think maybe most people occurred. feel that way. Right. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah. you, I think yeah. there, you're right, the there's programs. more... Some people want to go more in depth, and that's then they'll have that option. What online, online is they can do that online, yeah. 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 right? I think it should be a lot about you. Like you're the new director, it's sort of the new spirit. Like that's exciting. That's the big news. So I think my personal preference would be that you ensure that 
Um, you know, you tell your story. This is the first sort of annual report to do so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll put a small a letter in there of some sort. I know you're um, coming up on a year almost. Yeah. Three quarters of a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and this covers fiscal year, though, too. So sure. it covers the period before I was here mm -hmm. as yeah. well. Right. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah. yeah so you, it's Sorry, not, you can take credit for it all. <laughs> <laughs> for whatever's good, you can take credit for it. <laughs> um, so any other priorities you want to make sure is in there? I think the uh, all the stuff collaborating with other governments, I think it's great to have it in these uh, reports. And I... You know, I think there are some community members that like hearing that, so I think we might as well max out on telling the story of all the collaboration okay. that uh, the library is up to. Yeah, we do. Yeah. A ton in the schools, a yeah, ton in right. the parks. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. Have a special community so. partners. That, uh, which is part of what you decided before, too, is, is in the kind of the in community engagement, and I think, because I think that, that ties into what you're saying. and, and what you've talked about before, uh, Heather. Um, that to me is the, the most. Um, yeah. Besides the, the numbers, which to see how we're how we're mm -hmm. our being used, is to show how the library is is integrating into the into the community. Okay. So. Yeah, because actually, you're right. A lot of the things that are in your director's report are really great. Um, you know, just 